Hi, I'm Tanya Ross of TDR Academy of Movement and Therapy. Today um, I'm going to go through a stretch for the chest and the front of the shoulder. So this is a standing stretch or you can do it in seated. You maybe just have to shuffle your bottom forward a little bit on the seat to give you enough room. But with this, this is our target area. Ever, as with every stretch, depending how tight you are, depending how much you feel it. So with this, it's a softer stretch, but your hands are placing onto your bottom. Depends how long your arms are is where you need to put them. If you put them higher, it might not stretch as much. You're going to get it maybe more into the wrist. So we don't want to have a deep angle at the wrist. So slide your hands down onto your bottom. And then from there, you're going to squeeze your elbows together and maybe even puff out the chest. So as you're doing that, you're trying to bring your elbows together. You're puffing out the chest a little bit and you're trying to get that sensation into that area. So it's maybe a little bit of anterior deltoid into the pecs so that it's opening out that front line of the body. Now with that, again, with any stretches, you're gonna hold until it feels like it eases and hopefully you feel better for it. But make sure, watch your video on how to stretch and um, if you don't know how, in terms of how long to hold it for, but a good rule of thumb is hold that until you feel the sensation that you first went into, you feel that it starts to lessen. Another option for stretching the upper body would be to clasp your hands in behind. So they don't have to be clasped with the whole heel of the hands together. And um, they can just be kind of loosened through there. Or you could be like 007 fingers. So you can choose with that how you place the hands. Each can give a slightly different effect. So from there, hands are clasped, whatever way you wish them to be. You're lengthening the arms down, and maybe for you that's enough. Maybe you feel that stretching into the front of the shoulder area. The add-on to that then would be moving the little fingers behind. So maybe, again, if you're quite tight, maybe they only move a little bit. If you find that you can't move them back any further, it feels like you're being obstructed by maybe some of the soft tissue in around this area, then what you can do is move your hands a little bit to the side, I'm kind of bending my elbows, so I'm lifting my upper arm up so that it clears space in there to move it in behind. And when I get it to there, then I can maybe stretch it a little bit further. And again, it's an active stretch with this one. I'm having to use my muscles to hold it. I can feel my core is active. I'm trying to open up the chest. I'm lengthening the little fingers behind and holding that stretch until I feel again that the sensation at the front of the shoulder and the chest starts to ease. You can, if it feels like a lot of effort, for example, put your hands onto, whether it's a counter or a table, and once they're there, then you can move the body forwards a little bit. So you might have something that you could hold on to. Even potentially, if you're holding on to the back of a fixed seat that doesn't move, if you're holding on, then again, you move it forward, keeping nice and strong in through the core. It's still gonna give you that stretch coming in through the front of the shoulder, the chest, even into the biceps, potentially, the further forward you go. So hopefully that feels like it's a good stretch. It can feel quite strong, but it's a good stretch you can do standing or seated. Again, just if you're seated, you might need to shuffle the bottom forward to give you room to move the hands, especially if there's a backrest on how, how far you're able to move. So I hope you've liked this video. Please leave us a like down below, uh, potentially subscribe to our channel. We hope to give you more videos, which will be of interest to target certain areas in managing your own body. So leave us a comment as well, because we would love some feedback, especially on maybe what way to go with some of our videos to help you to improve your body and also then to improve what you can get up to with yourself, with your body, with whatever you want to throw at it. So from that point of view, subscribe to our channel and maybe even reflect on the notifications so that you receive them uh, when we post another video. Hope to see you again soon. Happy stretching in the meantime. Thank you.